What's up guys, uh, Heat King here bringing you some new leaks regarding Resident Evil 9 and some other RE games including Code Veronica and some future titles as well. So let's go through this. Uh, before I start, remember to like and subscribe please. And yeah, let's go through this new rumor meal. <laughs> and let me let Loki out first as well please, wait a sec. You wanna say hi buddy? You want to say hi? No. Nope. <laughs> okay then, come on. Come out. Come on, go on. You can't come back in though. <laughs> Silly cat. Okay, so let's go through this quickly then. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. It's probably going to be as long as the last one. Uh, so yeah. A few days ago. Okay, so let's, let's read from the title actually first. So this was posted on Reddit. Uh, God bless Reddit. <laughs> Um, Scream Fire Germany, info on Resident Evil 9, Call Veronica Remake, Zero Remake, Future Remakes, Remaster Collection, Capcom USA Influence, ooh dear, yeah, I, I, you guys are gonna hate this one, uh, cancelled games and more, so, rumour, a few days ago, a leak was posted on this subreddit based on a video from Scream Fire Germany, unfortunately, the post contained mistranslations and combined personal speculation opinion with insider information, the post also didn't cover the whole video. In the video, which is the recording of a live stream, Andy from Screenfire Germany answers questions from his community. I have watched, I'm German, and combined all the insider information. Hey, I'm, I was born in Germany too, so you know, I would know some stuff. I did watch the video, so I can't, I can't be asked to watch it and translate it myself to see how accurate it is. Maybe I should, like, and then I can do a third video and be like, oh yeah, this was, this was all true. <laughs> and combine all the insider information he received from these sources. Some of these answers are vague, and it's not 100% clear where info from sources ends and speculation begins. I tried my best to separate it and only include insider info in this post. The video was published on May 12. Andy's last update from sources was around February, March 2024, as stated in another video. Okay, so there's a link there for guys who want to watch it. And there's a second link there. But yeah, let's go through it one by one now because it's all broken up into uh, specific topics. So, started with Resident Evil 9. <sighs> Resident Evil 9 began development as a multiplayer game in 2016 2017. The development was restarted at the end of 2018 and multiplayer was abandoned. Okay, that's some crazy info right there. Like, this was a multiplayer game and then they changed it to a single player title? What does this mean going forward then? Like, like because this just tells me immediately this is not a horror game. This is an action game. Like, if, if, this, was, this, if this was conceived as a multiplayer, like, what the hell does that even mean? And Dust Golem didn't say anything about this either. I mean, this guy's been saying for years that RE7, 8, and 9 were being made uh, together, which I guess could kind of add up, like, you know, you know since uh, development, like they say, the development would have started to a single player in 2018, like he says, when RE8 ended. But what the hell, right? Um, Leon is the main character of the game. Yeah, I think at this point... I think it's safe to say, considering the amount of rumours and leaks are coming out now, like, I think Leon being the main character is a safe thing to say. Jill will support him as a co-op partner, similar to what Sheva was to Chris in Resident Evil 5. Last year in August, Andy received information that Jill could potentially be cut as a co-op partner. So see, this is two contradictory bits of information. So Jill was originally designed as a co-op partner for Leon, Meaning this game was going to be the next Resident Evil 5, basically, in terms of it's going to be a co-op game. Now he's saying last August that Jill has been cut as the co-op partner, which tells me that... It doesn't tell me this game's now a single player. Maybe it is. No, what, what it tells me is that maybe Jill's not the co-op partner now, and that someone else is now the co-op partner. And, you know, the other the other speculation, whatever, said that Barry was... In, I mean, the guy was speculating. He was speculating that Barry might be in the game. Maybe... Maybe they're inspired by Resident Evil Gaiden, right? And and it's going to be Leon and Barry as the main characters. And then Joe and Ada are so all going to be the supports, right? Like, maybe. I don't know. But um, that's what I'm getting from it. Unless, unless it's trying to say that it's now a single-player game. In which case, maybe this is going to be designed similar to Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 2. Where you have two scenarios. So one is Leon and Ada. And the other one is Joe and Barry, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Resident Evil 9 will release in the first quarter of 2025. 2025, hold on a second there. 
When is Monster Hunter coming out? Monster Hunter, it's it's wild, right? Uh, release date. I can't find anything on there. Because isn't that coming out in the first quarter of 2025? So why would this be coming out in the first quarter of 2025? That, that makes no sense. I don't know. Like My, my, my hope is, is that, yeah, Resident Evil 9 comes out early. But uh, here's the thing. If that is the case, they would have to reveal the game sometime this year. Like, in the next few weeks. Like, honestly, I'm thinking the rumours of a PS showcase in September might be true. And we get the reveal then. And then they re they announce the release date. It's gonna... I know, some people are gonna be like, Capcom wouldn't do that. They would do that. They did it with Resident Evil 3 Remake. They, they revealed the game in December 2019 and released it four months later in April 2020. So, yes, they can do that again. My, my only problem is, is I feel like it needs a bit more than four months to be marketed, right? So I'm thinking like if they reveal it in September, then they can release the game in April or maybe May or something. You know I mean, I think that makes a bit more sense. Like it gives you a good, good eight like months to like market it properly. So that, that's my guess, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, let's move on. Uh, various remakes. So this one apparently is about, yeah, as the title says, various remakes. Okay, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, little to no cut content for upcoming remakes due to higher budgets than Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. So Resident Evil, uh, okay, okay. So this is telling me that the reason that Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake ended up the way they did was because of lower budgets. It sounds like BS to me. I mean, on one hand, cool if it means going forward that, you know, Resident Evil Remake titles will have less content, you know, will have more content in them and less cut content, but this doesn't mean anything to me, like, like, Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake already had a decent sized budget, you're telling me because of, because of the budgets they ended up the way they did, no, it's, no, that's BS, that's BS, that makes no sense. Uh, Resident Evil 1 Re Remake is being discussed, but not in development at the moment. I feel like it would be in, it would be, it would be, maybe not in development now, but it's definitely in discussion because, again, they cancelled that uh, fan remake of Ori, of Ori re-remake. Uh, to be fair, those guys were asking for donations, so yeah, Capcom obviously would come in and be like, shut that shit down, like, shut it down. Uh, but uh, I feel, I feel like they have to do a remake for Ori 1 again. I know some people are be like, no, we don't need it. We, we do need it. We do need it. We do need it because they need to set up the Chris and Resco rivalry. They need to set up Jill and the relationship with Chris and Wesker in that game. And because I imagine a lot of people would not have played the original remake that was ported back in 2014, 2015. Like it's 10 years, it's 10, it's like, it's like 10 years now. Come on. We, we need a new remake. Uh... Capcom USA has a say in creative decisions. I don't like that, and I'm going to explain why in a second when I read the next part. Resident Evil 5 Remake is a hot topic. Capcom USA has concerns about the racist controversy. Capcom Japan is less concerned about this. Capcom wants to remake Resident Evil 5, but is unsure about how and when. A Ashley Graham's pop star outfit was removed from the Resident Evil 4 remake because Capcom USA considered it too revealing. It was removed shortly before launch. Okay, let's go through these three topics. It seems, if this is legit, if we take this at face value, it seems Capcom USA has, you know, has a strong influence on Capcom Japan. Whereas Capcom Japan's like, you know, piss off, like let us do our thing. Uh, I don't like the fact that Capcom USA as the as this as this creative choice like the fact that they're concerned about the re but the, there is no racist controversy and again i've said this a million bloody times now anyone talking about the racist controversy is racist themselves okay so many articles on ig now have come out showcasing what a bunch of hypocrites and lying pieces of shit they are okay like uh the, the recent sweet baby ink stuff regarding wukan black myth like that that's all over youtube right now okay uh, all the youtubers are now posting about their bullshit that the that, that, that those guys are doing and yeah it's like it's like you can't you can't listen to these people you can and and capcom usa feels like part of that problem it's like japan capcom japan needs to basically get off its ass grab its balls in its own hands and be like fuck off we're making the game the way we want to make you don't have any say in it there was no racist controversy of RE5 in the beginning. There is no racist controversy now. If Resident Evil 5 is racist, then so are the following games. Far Cry 2, 
Metal Gear Solid 5, because that took place in freaking Africa, and uh, you were playing a white dude killing a bunch of African soldiers, so, you know, and they were also infected with a parasite, except they didn't turn into freaking monsters and shit, but still, like, uh... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's kind of insulting. It, 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 it's kind of insulting when that's the that's the the reason for it. It's like, no, grow the fuck up, okay? Grow the fuck up. It's ridiculous at this point. It really is. Uh, Ashley's pop star outfit being removed. If that is the reason, like, <laughs> because of Capcom USA, well, why would they even cut that out? Like, what was revealing about the outfit? It's a pop star outfit. You've got a bunch of these guys going up on stage, posing and everything in, in live TV, like, uh, and, and that's fine. But when it comes to a video game, you can't do that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This is... Capcom, was it, wasn't, didn't they, didn't they have Devil May Cry 5 where, where their female characters behinds were shown? Unless in certain countries, it was, like, it was, it was censored and blurred, which is ridiculous. Like, they, they for some reason, the UK, they, they, they did a patch where they censored and blurred that shit. Like, that just made no sense to me. Like, I think I think mainly the PlayStation uh, console did that. Like, Sony, for some reason, had a hard on in censoring that. They didn't censor the old games, but they censored that. Like, it's like, no, piss off. Get the fuck out. Yeah, th reading this stuff just pisses me off a lot. Like, I don't like reading this stuff. I really don't. I don't like hearing about that this is what's going on. It's like, no. Capcom Japan needs to get off its ass and be like, no, we're doing, we're doing the game the way we want to freaking do. You have no say in the matter. They need to tell Capcom USA to fuck off. Seriously. Uh, a call was put out for a producer and director for Resident Evil 6 Remake, but no one was interested. This makes no sense to me. The game sold a million units recently on Switch. Why would it? Why would no one be interested? I feel like this is such bullshit. Like, uh, if someone is getting off their ass to remake Resident Evil 0 and call Veronica, right? Then surely someone's going to get off their ass and remake uh, Resident Evil 6. And the fact they're going to do Resident Evil 5 as well, come on, get that, get, no, get, get up, get off your ass. Like, like, I want to see a Resident Evil 6 remake, but I want to see it completely change and overhaul. That's my dream for that game. Like, that's what I want to see. Uh, obviously, keep Chris and Piers, keep Leon, keep Cherry and Jake. Maybe just cut Helena out because she's a pointless character in the overall story, I feel like. Maybe just change the whole Simmons, Carla stuff. Maybe cut Carla out and just keep Simmons and just make him a, a proper good villain, perhaps. I don't know. Like, you need to do something. Like, 50% it, of that game just doesn't work plot-wise, I feel. Um, no more content for Resident Evil 3 Remake. The game sold well enough and Capcom will revisit it. Why would they make more content for that? Like, they, they set that from day one. There's not going to be anything for that game, which is ridiculous because I feel like you could have done some good DLC for that game. Imagine if we'd gotten a DLC for the Clock Tower starring Carlos trying to get Joe out of the area, right? And he has to go through the Clock Tower to, to you know, do all the crap that he needs to, to, to find a way to the hospital and then he has to fight the Gravedigger at the end. That would have been freaking cool, but no, we didn't get that, did we? No. Or, or a Brad DLC with him escaping a nemesis or something. Like, that would have been cool. No, we didn't get that either. Like, uh... Uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1 remake has been discussed at Capcom. Andy doesn't know the outcome. I've been saying they, they might they should consider remaking Revelations 1. They should reconsider making re remaking Revelations 1 and 2 in the RE engine. I feel like those games deserve the higher budget. Plus, I feel like it would be a good way to set up Revelations 3 going forward. Like, if they're not going to release Revelations 3 anytime soon, remake 1 and 2. And then when you remake them, go straight into Revelations 3 and give us that final sort of game to close off maybe a lot of the loose ends from those two games. That's, that's how I would do it anyway. But yeah, I can see them remaking those. I thought because those are mainline games. They're not spin-offs. They're mainline games. Though they, they they deserve to be remade as much as all the numbered ones do. Resident Evil Cold Veronica remake. Okay, so now we're going into the meat of stuff. Here we go. Resident Evil Cold Veronica remake has been in development for 18 months. Uh, Harabayashi is working on it. A uh, next game to release after Resident Evil 9. Okay, so um, Dusk Gollum said this game wasn't was in, uh, himself said this game wasn't developed for two years. So I guess this sort of matches up with some of the stuff he said. The uh, Hario Hari is the producer who announced the Resident Evil 2 remake. He's also done two, four remake as well, and I think he worked on the original Resident Evil one as well. Uh, he also he was also the scenario writer for Resident Evil Five, by the way. So. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good that he's working on it. Like, um, with him involved, I feel like it means that, yeah, Corolla is going to be a very serious entry in, 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 in the remake uh, category coming forward. Uh, next game to release after RE9. That's weird. I assumed it would be RE0, but it's going to be Corolla instead. Okay, cool, cool. 
you know, I thought they might go in release order, but no, that's fine. That's cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is the way of uh, they, we get Coronica next, and we get the continuation of Claire's story, and then we get the Chris and Wesker stuff, and then we get Resident Evil Zero, and then Resident Evil Zero leads into an RE1 remake, and then we get the RE1 remake next, and then that fills the blanks like that. We get that we get those two prequels to fill the blanks in with the characterization with the other characters, and then we get Resident Evil Five remake going forward. Who knows? Uh, opening sequence has been changed. Claire visits. Umbrella HQ in Paris with a group of tourists and sneaks off to steal information. She gets caught and sent to Rockford Island. This section is allegedly playable. This replaces the helicopter opening. Uh, so yeah, this information right here sounds ex somewhat similar to the 4chan leak back in late 2023, which Dusk Gollum came out and said was fake. Okay, he came out and said it was fake and that there was no Coronica remake happening. And then literally a few months later, he's like, oh no, it's happening. I've known about it for two years. Uh, but that 4chan leak really was apparently vague. But then you've got this, and the 4chan leak literally said you'd be playing the section as as Claire infiltrating the Umbrella Paris HQ. So, what's going on here, guys? What's going on? Uh, plus, Resident Evil Zero being made, and that's got the zapping system. And and the leak, the 4chan leak said Cole Veronica had the zapping system. So, it feels like it's all. If, if if both those games are being made at the same time, it would kind of make sense for both games to have similar features, maybe. So, yeah. Steve is more likable. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Rodriguez's role has been expanded, similar to Lewis and Ori 4 remake, as expected. Claire now fights Alexia. Chris fights Wesker. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that. Uh, on one hand, I do. On the other hand, I don't. I like that Claire was the one that was fighting one of the Ashfords, and then you enter the second part of the game, and now Chris is fighting the other Ashford. So, you know, you have the different uh, siblings going at it, but now it's like they've changed that, so... I don't mind it. Go on, go power. And then we get Chris and another Wesker fight. Cool. But I can't... I Personally, I would kind of hope to see both Claire and Chris team up to fight Alexia. That would be kind of better, I think. And yeah, I'm going to leave it on here, guys. And then I'm going to continue. So give me a second. I can just take a break. All right, back for round two. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, guys, because this is now the halfway point. Hopefully, we get through this very quickly now. Um... Yeah, moving on to Resident Evil Zero Remake. Okay, so Resident Evil Zero Remake has been in development at M2 since 2023. So this game's been in development since last year. Uh, I'm trying, let me think, uh, how long would it take for them to get this out? Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 3 Remake came out a year after the, not even a year, was it even? Yeah, it literally was like a year after the release of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, separate ways literally came out like, like nine eight months after the initial release of maybe even less than that i think so they, they make games very fast i imagine so obviously if if we're getting re9 first then call veronica then i'm then i imagine re0 is going to come out in the next few months after that um partner zapping system returns obviously it's it's the key feature of that game why wouldn't it the game will have online co-op. Okay, so this is part of the, this is one of the parts where I'm calling BS because it, it, it doesn't make sense. If this game is co-op, that would mean the game has to start with both players, player one and player two, playing as Rebecca and Billy from the start of the game, right? Which makes no sense if you've played the original because you start the game as Rebecca and then you don't get Billy until about five to ten minutes into the game. Like you're still you're doing a bit of early exploring. The only thing the the only the only way the online part of this makes any sense is if, for example, they give the the secondary player one of the Bravo team members to play as first. In this case, I'm gonna say Edwards. Okay, and you play you start the game with Rebecca and Edwards, and then Edwards dies, and then Billy comes in saving her life, and then well, you play the rest of the game as uh, Rebecca and Billy, and that's how they're gonna do the online co-op part of it. Uh, but that also doesn't make any sense because if it's got online co-op, why wouldn't it have offline co-op? Yeah, so... Yeah. So, uh, more thoughts on that. See, it, like, the, the BS keeps piling up, basically. So, yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Uh, I'm very interested to see what this remake's gonna look like. I really am. Like, I'm very curious because... Yeah, more than anything, I, this is one of the other RE games I want to see completely reimagined. I definitely want more Bravo team. I definitely want more Wesker and Birkin if possible. But uh, yeah, I'm just very curious how this is going to turn out. Like, and when they're going to reveal it. <laughs> Moving on to... And this is the final part, actually. Actually, there's two parts. Uh, so the next part is Cancelled Games. Okay. 
This one's probably going to be upsetting, but let's go for it. Resident Evil Revelations 3 was in development as a Nintendo Switch exclusive starring Rebecca Chambers. Andy has heard that the game was cancelled. Okay. First up, I've heard a lot of conflicting pieces regarding this game. But uh, I mean, let's read the other parts first. Resident Evil Hank. Uh, H-A-N-K. Hank, not H-U-N-K. Was never a honk game. Andy doesn't know what happened to this game. No one does. Like, apparently this game never existed. We know it did because it was in the Capcom leaks, but God knows what happened to it. Resident Evil Outrage was a Wesker game. Andy is not sure what it looked like exactly. It was cancelled because the quality was too low. Okay. So let's go through these three cancelled games then. Uh, first up, Resident Evil Outrage from what I understand. And this is something Dust Garlem himself said. So see, now, now his stuff is a bit of a contradiction now. Uh, he said that Outrage was originally Revelations 3 after he said RE8 Village was Revelations 3. So this, this guy keeps going back and forth. He said Outrage was Revelations 3 and that it was going to star Rebecca Chambers. Now, there was another leak that uh, from someone else that came and said that uh, it was going to star... Yes, it was going to star Rebecca and it was going to be set in an infected university. The secondary character was going to be Natalia. So Alex Wesker and Natalia was going to make a comeback. Side characters, we don't know. Like, uh, we don't know. There, there, there was multiple side characters, apparently. Like, it kept dropping from Leon, Jill, Ada, and Barry. God knows which one was true. Uh, but, uh, yeah, th at one point, Dos Gollum came out and said, Oh, Outrage was not Revelations 3. In fact, it was a multiplayer game starring Wesker. Now, this, this here is saying it was a Wesker game. So, this kind of matches up with what he said later on. But it doesn't say it's a multiplayer game. This just says it was a Wesker game. I don't know. Uh, Hank, we never knew anything about it, so I'm assuming this was something, and it wasn't a hunk game either, so... What what the hell does the hunk parts mean then, like... <laughs> God knows. Um, and yeah, Revelations 3 was apparently being made for Nintendo Switch and cancelled. I'm kind of hoping that's not the case, I'm kind of hoping that's sort of in the vault and they will go back to it eventually, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, finishing this up, uh, this one is supposed to be taken with a massive grain of salt, according to Andy. Unconfirmed rumors have stated that the 2011 tsunami in Japan flooded offices and files for RE1, 2, 3 and Outbreak were lost. This is why there won't be a remaster collection unless Capcom decides to use AI in the future. So, okay, even Andy's saying take this with a massive grain of salt, but uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you're such a reliable leaker, how can you get this bit of info so wrong? And here's why. From what I understand, when the tsunami floods hit Japan back in 2011, the Capcom offices were not located in the areas where the tsunami hit. They were located somewhere else. So this makes no sense. And as a leaker, as someone who's supposed to be reliable and get their stuff, I mean, he's saying here, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, it's hard to take it with a, with a grain of salt when we already know that, when, when the facts are already there. The officers weren't in the vicinity of the flooding. So it wouldn't have gotten flooded in the first place unless, unless, hear me out, and this is just my own theory, unless there's like a salt building or something where they keep the old files, in which case maybe that would make sense. But realistically, no, the, 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 the main Capcom Japan branch was never hit. So then there's no excuse for them losing the files, uh, which makes no sense. So this part is just is clear BS, 100%. Uh, but he does say take a regret of salt. So it doesn't dismiss what else he says here. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, then we got the final part. Bonus info. No Dino Crisis remake in development as of August 2023. Which makes a lot of sense. And here's why. They only just revealed the Rex engine. Literally last year. And we literally just got the survey results back from that survey they did a few months ago, early this year. And Dino Crisis pretty much was on top of the poll for a lot of the answered questions, basically. And that was just, that's recent. That's recent, that's now, okay? So, obviously Capcom would have no reason to make a Dino Crisis remake at this point, until now. Because after they got those results, and they would have looked at it, they would have been like, oh... Crap, Dino Crisis is popular. Let's let's make a remake now. So now would be the uh, opportunity, the golden time. So them not working on it as of last year. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. They wouldn't be working on it as of last year. They would work, be working on it as of getting those results now. 
And since those results came in and Dino Crisis was winning a lot of the questions there, it makes a lot of sense it's going to happen now. So, is it going to be entering development sometime this year? Maybe not. I'd say I'd say maybe around next year we might get some info if, if we have some reliable leakers to tell us otherwise. But uh, I imagine we should hear something next year maybe, if we're lucky. Uh... Fingers crossed, but I, th I think for now Capcom's going to be focusing on Monster Hunter and Resident Evil for the considerable future. But yeah, that's that's it. That's all the info there. And yeah, quite quite a lot of info. It's kind of crazy how much stuff there is in here that wasn't translated well enough. Uh, but on one hand, I'm very excited. On the other hand, I'm very nervous as well, especially for the stuff regarding uh, the other re remakes that they want to do, especially for Resident Evil 5 remake. It's like, no. No, Capcom Japan needs to needs to have its eye on the ball, and they need to be the ones in control and basically tell US Capcom to piss off. Uh, a remake of Revelations One, I'm all for it. You know, as long as we get a Revelations Two followed by Revelations Three, that's 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 the hope. That's the that's the hopes and dreams. Uh, Resident Evil Six remake needs to happen e eventually at some point. It needs to happen. Maybe after they do the Revelations games, maybe they can do that. Um, I'm just, I just want, I just want, I just want some bloody RE content info now at this point. Like, I, I'm assuming we're going to get something at September, like the PS Showcase, or Capcom's going to do a showcase where they're going to reveal Resident Evil 9, and I'm assuming maybe re reveal uh, Code Veronica Remake and Zero, maybe. I don't know, I feel, I feel like this is one of those times where Capcom should come out in full force and be like, we're making all of these games, here's some early footage, here, here's, 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 here's big footage for RE9 that's going to come out next year. And here's some footage for the upcoming games that are going to come out in like the year after and all that. So I don't know. Uh, um, that's kind of what I hope. I, I, I hate when Capcom always does the whole like we're just going to reveal one game one at a time. Like go big this time around. Go big and just let us know from the forefront what games you're working. Start the marketing campaign now. Get us hyped. Get us going. Like, but uh, yeah, curious to see what's going to happen. Curious to see what the end result of all of this is going to be. And really, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's all there is to it. That's. That's it, right? That's all that's listed here. Hope you guys like that. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And bye.